Hello and welcome to the MDS Show, episode number 275. I am your host, Thurman Senzo. Joining me today is Will. It's Ian Norman. We are here to talk about the ponies. And the ponies is what we will talk about. True, true. Ponies are always fun to talk about. Are they? Are they the only thing to talk about? On this show, we say yes. They are the only thing to talk about. If you don't like it, go with somebody else. And have fun. Because you deserve to have fun. But as for us, we still have another person joining us. Who is that lovely person? Also, Starstream will be joining us this week. Woo! Uh, hello, everypony! And welcome back from the hiatus! Oh yeah, the hiatus ends today. Yay! Yeah, it ends today. Well, as of this recording, it ends today. Well, it's happening now. Well, by the time the episode is released, it will be a while. So, well, for our case, it's one hour later. <laughs> Not really. The episode aired in Australia early, so <laughs> we've seen Yeah, it. but, well, but for those who haven't seen the episode, it's an, it's a two-part episode. So, oh, yeah. True, true. Yeah. True, true. Uh, but because I actually have not, I have I have not seen it, so I'm looking forward to it. Oh, really? Now, awesome, awesome! You're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna enjoy it. Uh, it's been said that Shatner's in it, so he'll scream "Khan" over and over again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, because because the one I'm seeing here saying on uh, EQD says Discord and Harmony. So I thought the uh, unless they got it wrong, mm, Discord and hmm. Harmony. But I'll find out. Um, one thing we can say is watch the episode first, then we would just say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, you know what? I'll just have to. I'm just gonna have to see what the heck is going on here. Same here. Looking forward to it. Yay! End of hiatus. Woohoo! So, anywho, let's hop into news because we have a bunch of news this week. And well, since we mentioned about season seven, end of the hiatus, you guys want a box set of season six? If we can get yeah. it for our case. Yeah, I'll just stick with my 1080p rips <laughs> straight from the internet. Boo! <laughs> Color correct that. No. Are you gonna are you gonna team four star me and tell me I should just support the official release? Yes. <laughs> oh, support well, official. I guess I should now. <laughs> support the official release. Oh gosh, dang it! But anyway, if you're interested in getting the box set DVD, it'll be out on November seventh, and like any other DVD, you'll get some behind the scenes stuff and. All those kind of goodies, like, come on. That's the only reason to buy the DVD. It is, it but, is fun to see if they do, uh, another, uh, I don't know, does, did it say what commentaries are on it? Because uh, I, I personally find cast and crew commentaries to be the funniest. Um, from what I see here, there's only two listed for now, and that is the San Diego Comic Con 2016 panel and a sing along. Those are the two that's listed now, but other than that, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to see more information when it gets closer to its release date. But I must say, where's Starlight? Starlight? Um... Yeah, it's not, she's not on the cover. She... Well, it's because it's season six showing the main six, not main six plus one. Or two, if you count Trixie in it. <laughs> but then again, uh, Spike, Spike has been omitted for a long, long time. Yeah, it's good to see yeah, the guy there. I don't know if this is the official box art, but the box art looks like it's using the season one derpy vectors where everyone has cross eyes. <laughs> I know what you mean. Especially Twilight. I know what you mean. And that's why it looks suspicious. Like she doesn't have any wings. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. Of course she doesn't have any wings. She hasn't gone to, she hasn't gone to get some fried chicken yet. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. But those two empty spaces, well, like I mentioned before, Starlight and Trixie. <laughs> uh, but yeah. no, I know where they are. They're where they deserve. They're on the back of the box. Oh my! As let me guess, as the background box kind of Probably. thing. Probably, I don't know. I mean, no, if that was true, Applejack would be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys! But if November is a bit too long for you, how about August? Um, Equestria Girls shorts premiering through um, all throughout August. So, um, what this is like, it's the, you remember those Equestria Girls shorts that we got before, um, Rainbow Rocks? <coughs> and probably after Rainbow Rocks? They're doing the same thing, but it's gonna be airing after the Discovery Family movie night or something like that, uh, 7 p.m. or 6 central, I don't know. And it's going to be there. Um, 
I don't know how or why, but it seems those kind of things, or it seems that those things are already popping out everywhere. When did Equestria Girls get that popular? It's got its niche. It's got its niche. Everyone likes something, man. Mm-hmm. And from what I hear, uh, it's really popular in South America and probably Poland because they got the first airing of the uh, three specials. Remember, uh, movie magic yeah, yes. and uh, mirror magic and movie uh, mirror yeah. magic and dance magic. Yeah, they got those first, which is a surprise. Uh, but still, um, mo- uh, the shorts are really awesome. I've seen them. And it's fun. It's really, really fun. And if you're a fan of the Equestria Girls, you should go watch it. Definitely. But, you know, all Equestria Girls was, you know, the first movie we ever got. And, you know, it was a mixed bag with some people. We do have news about the actual first MLP movie starring nothing but horses yes. is actually coming out. Yes, and good news. It seems that the movie is done. It's in the can and it's waiting to be on the big screen. Yay. Well, that's good. Jason Thiessen, um, I think the director for it or one of the guy working on it. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, um, he mentioned that the movie is done. Guys, uh, I think we might have a finished movie in our hooves. Hashtag MLB movie. Yay. So Yay. movie is done. Movie is ready. It comes out um, October 6th. Yes. October 6th, that's a while away, but still, much of the fun... Good, have. that gives them a month of bug testing. A, t- a chance to iron out all the bugs that'll happen. Um, I swear, if I see Twilight Sparkle lift to the floor, you know, that's <laughs> it, I'm out. <laughs> um, maybe bug fixes, or probably balancing patch, you know, just to make sure some characters don't go too overpowered. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's what they have, that's what they have when they introduce new villain patch, oh, you yeah. know. <laughs> new introduce new villain... Patch. Neutralizes alicorn powers. Oh yeah, like Makes doom hoof. Like doom hoof needs to be balanced out. <laughs> oh yeah, completely. I mean, seriously, the range on that E. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but and talking about well, um, you know, with movies sometimes they have ratings, and well, it seems that this movie is getting a PG rating <sighs> by the uh, National American Film Board. Is it called? Uh, I forget who does the actual ratings, but the point is PG is absolutely worthless in American society nowadays because they'll give it out to anything. Really? They haven't used, oh seriously, they have, they have rarely have ever used G in the past decade. There's very few, I think the last movie I think I saw that had a G rating was the Winnie the Pooh movie that came out like two years ago or something. Wow. It's like, it has to be, the most, I mean, I think even Sesame Street would get a PG rating because it challenges kids. What about Maya the Bee? I'm just curious. I, I've not heard of that one. Yeah, I'm Googling it right now. You guys go ahead and talk. You guys go ahead and talk. Yeah, but I, I mean, just, just, just the thing about the film industry over here in America, what I've noticed is like, G doesn't exist. PG just means kids and not edgy enough for PG-13. PG-13 means we want to be adult, but we still want to reach the massive amount of audience that we can. So this one just has one square word in it for the entire thing and maybe might show a bit of side boob. That's it. R is just everything else. But I do want to ask, do actually anyone at the cinema who's selling the tickets, do they actually stop the people from buying like the Kids buying like PG thirteen movies or anything like that. You know that really depends on the theater itself. Um, there's no specific law preventing people. Um, uh, in fact, they're not even required by law for you to to remind you that, ma'am, you are taking your kids into an R rated film. But it's South Park. It's a cartoon. Cartoons are for kids. Mm-hmm, or sure is, or or as we say, the Deadpool movie. Did you? Yeah, sure. Take your kid to the superhero movie. <laughs> but superhero, superheroes are for kids. Yeah. Have fun. Sorry, it's rated. It's rated R. I would suggest against that. Yeah. Oh, and then, and then, then, then they just have this vacant deer in the headlights stare at you like they just in one out ear, in one ear out the other. Didn't quite comprehend. But, but superheroes, cartoons, they're for kids. Okay then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, ma'am. Yeah, let's just uh have you 
go on and have your worldview absolutely destroyed because of uh, creativeness. Enjoy having your kids ex- having the worldview expanded. <laughs> we are not responsible for them learning multiple swear words, but you are going to be responsible for having to uh, deal with that for yep. the rest of your life. It's not our fault. <laughs> the rating's there. Th- thankfully, with MLP being PG, there's none of that. Although it's a shame. I was really hoping we'd get a PG-13 MLP movie. Oh, wow. Celestia, what's going on? Twilight, we need you to stop them. Holy... That's not a word! Says Pinkie Pie. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, my other B is uh, rated G. Okay, it is rated G. All right. And that's a 2014 movie, by the way. Well, then. You can look at all the movies released recently for kids. You'll find a majority of them are really, are, uh, in America are released as PG. But no, no. That'd be interesting. A PG-13 po- uh, MLP movie. What would that be like? Well, we can always imagine. Blood, blood. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm, I'm sure somebody on Filmfic will decide to write a fanfic about it. Well, after maybe after movie premiere, and if they feel like it's, there's a loophole, I mean, there's gap inside the story, then they might add on something. What, you mean the special oh, no. version of the DVD or Blu-ray? Norman, you just, you, you just made me a good challenge, and I'm writing it down here. The second the movie comes out, after I see it, I'm writing a fan fiction where I will rewrite, and it, it, it'll be, it'll be four, four chapters, and each movie, uh, each chapter will be a rewriting of the movie, but in a different rating other than PG. First, first it will be G, then it'll be PG-13, then it'll be rated R, and then the final chapter will be rated X. No, it's just like, this is how the movie would have been if we had been allowed those ratings. And we'll just see what comes out. <laughs> mm. uh, well, you know what? Uh, since we're talking about movies, how about popcorns? Popcorns are fun. Yeah? Uh, yeah, unless you get it stuck between your teeth and it's annoying. <laughs> well, we all know your history of the concession stores. Uh, Will, you, you no, hate don't them. Don't get me started. Don't get me started, Norman. Don't get me started. Well, probably this will change your mind. Um, they are having some really, really exclusive merchandise, like uh, minifigures and also popcorn um, buckets. Yay! My gosh, I need those minifigurines. They look very cool, but where's Flutters? And where's Applejack? <laughs> Did Applejack turn into background pony again? Uh, no comment on that but one, the thing, man. The, the thing is, though, I'm wondering is which theaters are going to have these? I wonder if I'm only, I wonder if it's only going to be big name ones like AMC or other stuff like that. So you know, it's like big companies. If that's true, ugh, that's really going to be spendy just to get a minifiguring. But then again, they actually look really good. So well, there's always the option of well, uh, I hate to say this, but you can always buy them for yourself and sell it online. That what? is true. Sell it online. That's outrageous. Who would do that? What kind of conniving? entrepreneurial, handsomely smart and wickedly intelligent sort of person would ever do that. But still, um, there's always an option. Yeah, but then again, this a question that arises is for our local site, then I hope we do get it. Oh yeah, if not, we riot. <laughs> uh, riot yeah, riot will be another thing though. I think everyone at, at the, well, what we call during the meetup, at, well, there's a planned meetup coming if, up, so... If. If they do, but the thing is, they did say it's goodie back, so I wonder if it's included. This one. Yeah, I hope so too. Well, it's still in discussion, and we still need to. Work. That's all I could say. Mm-hmm. And Wills, I do hope that even though you don't like the concession store, I do hope you consider buying at least one for your own personal collection. If I can just say, listen, I want one of those figurines. I will buy them straight off of you. Is there any way we could cut a deal? You know, like, like one nudge, nudge, slide of 50, realize, wait a minute, that still is, that's still, <laughs> slide of a 50 and realize, hey, I'm still not paying as much as I would for the concessions. <laughs> oh god, I thought you were going to say slide of a 50, you know what sir, you got yourself a deal and I'll throw a drink and a popcorn for it. <laughs> it somehow this reminds me of the way where I did call for the McDonald's. Oh god. When I was- <laughs> when I was getting the MLP figure, I was like, um, oh. it was a bit awkward. No, but man. at least I did manage to get it. Like, for, <laughs> for me, i done that a lot. Like, I bought the toys, like the ponies before. Like, I just bought my, um, value meal and I asked, hey, can I buy, a, um, whatchamacallit, happy meal? It says, yeah, that'll cost you about three bucks or something like that. Yeah, okay, whatever. Charge it to my bill. 
got my happy meal, got my, f- uh, no, got the figure, got my meal, I'm done. And then when I try it again, it says like, uh, like for this year, I think with, uh, that recent pony set yep. came out, I asked like, yep. nah, man, like you can't, you need to buy the happy meals. Like, damn. Yeah. All right, can, you, can I buy a happy meal, but you give me just the toy? You can save the burger and save the fries and the drink because I'm watching my weight. <laughs> I don't know if you can do that. That's interesting. Well, I, I, I have yet to try it, mostly because um, I, I, the figurines haven't interested me that much. Hmm, probably. Movie figurines, which look really detailed. Yeah. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Like, if it does come out, I do hope you get a chance to review it, Wills. If not, then eh, well, whatever. But talking about reviewing and stuff, um, the original soundtrack is going to be on Amazon soon. Like, it's going to be on September 22nd. So, yay! If Sweet. Yeah, I can't wait because uh, I listened to some of the soundtrack that was released. You so gotta be careful, <laughs> man, because uh, the songs are probably going to have spoilers. And who knows, you might even spoil yourself in a really good villain song in there or something. Oh, yeah, true. Well, Frankly speaking, the Toy R Us did release the, what do you call it, the soundtrack for 25 seconds, and some recently, uh, they oh, just yeah. released the instrumental, the three minute instrumental. But hey, or at least in that 25 second clip, we got to see High Def Derpy. Yeah! In Toon Boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all, and then, all I can say is, the, gr- yeah. the music is great though. <laughs> oh yeah, and the animation is buttery smooth. Yeah, and orchestral pieces. Yeah, and talking about spoilers for the music and whatnot, this happened before with Rainbow Rocks. Like, Rainbow Rocks soundtrack came out before the movie came out, and we got spoiled. The villain song was awesome, the Rainbow Dash song was awesome, Trixie's song was awesome, and when we saw it, eh, it's good, it's good. So, so I think it's quite as seeing the, the, uh, uh, seeing the sirens in their song for the first time, because you're just like, this is both amazing and hilarious at the same time. <laughs> How so, Will? Hilarious because it's just like, you know, this would be hilarious if they just took this entire concept and did it in live action because holy crap, these would be, this is like something you'd see on, I, I, I don't know, it's just like Disney wouldn't have the gall to pull off half this crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh well. But with any other merchandising, we'll get uh, we'll also get toys. And, well, we won't be getting the official toys from Hasbro. But for me personally, I'll be getting stuff from Funko. And they're releasing their pops. And um, some of their figures, like the main six, are going to be in sea pony form. Yay. They look yeah. fancy. A bit, a bit squarish. Well, that's the trademark of the Funkos. Not a big fan, Wills? I'm sorry. I think there was a comic that accurately described my uh, entire thing about it. For vinyl figurine fans, it's like, uh, hmm, you know what? This series that this person likes really deserves a vinyl figurine for it. Yes. I should be sure it's done by a very competent company. Yes. <laughs> I'm thinking, f- uh, hello, Funko? No. Get me to your pop division. <laughs> no! Uh, well, I do. Have... Just, it, 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 the issue is that they're too per se, too pervasive, and to be honest, I think the quality on a lot of the pop figurines is extremely low, low bar, very low bar. It's like it's the same style. It's like they have a mold and they. Especially if they don't change the mouth. Good gosh. Mm, I, I know what you mean because it happens to... Well, they have a certain style and they follow it. And if your figure doesn't really have something awesome or different, it's going to look the same. Um, especially if they're having their human form. So, for example, if you have an Overwatch Tracer versus a Street Fighter Ryu, probably they're going to look the same. So, yeah, unfortunately. But anywho, yeah, Funko Pops, not the greatest, but I don't mind getting some. Like, I'll get something like the Rainbow Dash or Twilight. Any of you interested in getting any? Uh, Well, I mean, other vinyl figurines that have unique style of them, those are interesting, yeah. Like the, um, 
uh, I think probably the best one I've seen is the other ones by Wheel of Fine, or oh, yeah. I don't know if the, um, uh, yeah, the, those ones, or the Discord Fluttershy one. I mean, some of them are kind of really expensive, but, you know, they're really like art forms at that point. Some of them are officially Hasbro products, like the uh, Fan Collection series. But like the Wheel of Fine, they're licensed out by Hasbro and whatnot. So yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, another good figurines that I like are the ones that the um, ah dang it, what's it called the uh, <laughs> the ones where everyone looks actually it's like out of an action film, hmm. Equestria something. Ah, uh, Equestria. Um, are you talking about the one where Nightmare Moon is fighting with Celestia. Yeah, yeah, those, yeah, those are Hasbro yeah, official. Yeah, yeah, the Guardian the, Harmony. Yeah. Guardians of Harmony, that's it. That's it. Thank you, my man. You have reminded me of it. But yeah, the Guardians of Harmony stuff, because uh, I got the Celestia one, and <laughs> it just looks freaking awesome. I want one of I, I just want all of them. Uh, but still, personally, if it were up to me, and Hasbro doesn't mind spending a lot of cash, I don't mind working with the Good Smile Company. You know, those people who make those anime figures. I think if you're playing Overwatch, you got a chance to see them. Like those Overwatch tracers thing. You mean the mm-hmm. Nandroids? Ah, yes, Nandroids. Them. Those are good too. Or Kotobukiya. Oh, they go, they do good figures oh. too. So. That one is a good brand, yeah. yeah. But I do say, Norman, if you do want to get the Guardians Harmony, you actually get a chance. Oh, yeah. Convention. Like, now the horror is do I have enough luggage space? <laughs> yes, because last when I was at Typo Nikon, someone was selling the Guardians of Harmony and Celestia got sold out fast. Oh wow, I, I need to go there on day zero. Yeah, we, we you will see it when they put it up on, on the sale. Yeah. Because I hear from uh, one of our organizers say that he will be there opening up a vendor booth. Yeah, I, I'll go there, slap money, and then like, I want it now. Like, no, sir, we don't... <laughs> Word? I'll put money on the table and it's there, like mine. Booked. I'll take it later. Uh, but um, sounds like you need to ask CD Bot to censor. I them. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's but, me. That's but rare. As, as, but as they say, since we are what do you call it, um, well, helping out mm-hmm. over at the convention, we get something known as a pre-sale. Like oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Probably. But you know what? Um, since we're on the train track about merchandising, uh, let's head on to the next one. And next one is Bill Bear. Um, Twy, I know you're an expert at Bill Bear. You collect most of the, I think all of them, right? The MLP figures, yeah? Yes, I, I collect all of the MLP ones. And well, I still have no idea why I did that. But, um, <laughs> uh, well, all in all, I actually, I do love after a while, I kind of grow on me. I mean, despite the ones I don't hug them a lot, <laughs> other than my favorite characters. Yeah, and now the chances arrive as we finally get Tempest Shadow and Songbird Serenade coming over to Bill Bear. Now you get two more to add to your collection, and they're from the movie. So cool. Yay. Yay. Uh, hope it's, well, hope it's gonna be all worth it. It's like, hope you can get them. Well, it's gonna be another long winded story. I hope I can get it before the Yep, true, true. And I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure if it's going to be available by this coming month. Like, I'm not 100% sure. Well, actually, I did read it on, uh, well, the, another site has posted the MLP merch, mm-hmm. which, is, uh, which is a website where they post about MLP merchandise. They say that uh, it's coming on the 31st August. Oh, wow. It will be gone by then. Yeah, plus they will be re- releasing some of the main six with a bit of updated design and capes with the sea pony tail style. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and also reading from one of the comments, someone was mentioning that um, the some of the ponies that they re- release will be a bit glittery. Ooh, so, much bling then. So I, yeah, I wonder how will it be. Will it be a bit of a well, if I'm crazy enough, would they be gonna be releasing something like the Rainbow style or something? Or is it gonna be doing it a bit of a more movie style? Oh god, style? are you gonna buy them all? <laughs> I do not know because I'm still on the rush. Until I see the merchandise. Uh, oh, wait and see approach, eh? Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, I, yeah, that's the best. But in the end, I think, oh, all in all, I think I, 
because I know this will get out of stock very fast. <laughs> Oh wow! But because but I see I seen them personally before, and I'm still regretting sometimes <laughs> on some of the some of the ones that didn't get well not for build bears because I did manage to get all oh lucky. All right, see I see the scalper markers is like crazy. Right, okay, okay. So let's head off the uh, build a bear and onto something more interesting. Oh well. And we now we zoom out into the world. <laughs> oh well, in this case, the map of Equestria updated. After the movie, or with the movie in canon in mind, because well, um, a while back ago we got the map of Equestria, and it seems pretty cool. Um, we got a few things like the Badlands, the Dragon Nation, um, Griffinstone, and so on. But now we get more, like we get to see the Crystal Empire a bit more, Yakistan, um, also Rainbow Falls, and also yep. more clear detailed view of the Griffin country or griffin empire was it i've got and dragon lands i think if anyone ever notices that at the bottom left and right we get to see the movie locations mm, true that too like um the storm king's uh, kingdom uh the sea ponies kingdom too so that's that we get something that looks like a desert kind of area is that mm. gonna be said arabia yeah, probably, or but I'm not sure. Like, that's the Badlands, probably. Like, here's the thing. Um, from what I understand of the movie, they say that it's going someplace outside of Equestria. So it could be outside of Equestria. I I don't know. Yeah, actually, I can explain this. Okay, you see right beneath. Um, okay, so let's use Canterlot as a base. Mm -hmm. You see right to the southeast that sort of uh canyon-like area surrounded by mountains mm -hmm. that has a single path running through it, that is technically the Badlands. Oh, really? The the desert area south of it, that is Sa Sa uh, Saddle Arabia. Oh. So, um, yeah. what's that thing there beneath the skull? Beneath the uh, giant skull? Uh-huh. Uh, on the left-hand side, that harbor town? No, 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 no. It's like uh, down south, um, like there's airships there, like some kind of dock place. Oh, I, I assume that's Saddle Arabia itself. Huh. Oh, okay. I assume. Or yeah. maybe it's just an, another town itself. I mean, we really don't know where Saddle Arabia is, but that's the estimate. That, that, that's my guesstimation. Hmm. True, true. That's something to consider. Everything south of the Badlands is basically new. Hmm. Because everything, everything east of the, the, of, of, of the ocean was added in season, uh, six when we got Griffin Stone and all that other stuff. Hmm. So now all this stuff to the south is, part of the uh this is like part of the movie okay that makes sense that makes sense so basically equestria the the continent that equestria on uh, equestria is on it is is one mass supercontinent that actually stretches from the north pole to the south pole and that that's well from the from the arctic to the subarctic so that's a that's a pretty large land mass to do that true but you know my geography thingy in my head tells me that we're not getting the whole feet picture because everything on the um, east is not fully wrapped around. So it's more, there's more. Something tells me there's more. Oh, I, all that's beyond there. It just, actually it loops around. Turns out that this hasn't been exa exa this entire place is not on a planet. It's on a ring world. <laughs> yeah, they live on a halo. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah. That's why they don't go east and west, because they wrap back around and they realize, oh no, our world isn't round! Ah! So wait, are you a flat earther then? <laughs> no, no, their planet isn't flat. It's disc shaped <laughs> on the back of a tortoise. Oh god. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. But, frankly speaking, when looking at this picture, right, it reminds me of this one, uh, what do you call it, this one continent that we used to have. Uh, it was, but it was break up a what, long Pangea? time ago. Yeah, the Pangea. Oh well, Pange, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, whatever it is, that that exists or used to exist. Yes, it used to yeah. exist billions of years ago. Yeah, yep. millions of years ago. before Doomfist fell into it. And <laughs> not everything involves Doomfist, Norman. <laughs> I hate to disappoint you. <laughs> oh, but Doomfist. No, Norman. No. Oh, sorry. Uh, but anywho, uh, talking about disappointment. <laughs> Uh, Hasbro was apparently in talks to buy Lionsgate. Hmm, who knew? How is that disappointing? Well, for Hasbro. <laughs> 
Well, why? Why would they buy? Li- well, okay. What is Lionsgate? They're a publishing company, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that means they would get all the properties probably that are currently under uh, Lionsgate's right to uh, publish. Mm-hmm. Oh, what does that mean? Well, that means probably good things or bad things depending on who they hand off the properties to. Well, it could mean. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, I'm actually trying to remember what the heck Lionsgate actually published. That's the problem. Well, I'm looking at the wiki right now, and from what I see, uh, the uh, film produced by them are The Hunger Games, The Power Rangers movie, uh, Now You See Me 2. That's what I can see out of the top of my head right now. Um, if I were to click more, uh, let's see, uh, American Psycho, uh, The Last Witch Hunter, Kick-Ass... So, for Rainbow, um, what else? Um, more movies. Um, well, there's a lot. There's a lot. But yeah, this sounds mm. like a high-profile company. Oh, the Punisher. Just yes. That, just that we never know. It's like a publisher, a game. Now publisher. we have to get Hasbro crossovers with all these property. Oh my gosh! If Hasbro owned the rights to Power Rangers, ooh, well they. <laughs> But then they get the help to get the Saipan company. Well, no, well, it would be awesome if they somehow got the official okay from Saipan. Well, actually, they did the Power Rangers reboot. When does the Power Rangers reboot took place in the Transformers universe? Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what? You know what? I'm seeing something that I'm really, really interested in. Um, John Wick. Oh, cool. So, yeah. John Wick in the pony world. Hmm. Yep. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> You make Fluttershy cry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got some big problems now. <laughs> oh. oh god, no. But anywho, anywho. So it's too bad for Hasbro that they didn't get to buy Lionsgate. But you know what? They're rich. They'll probably send someone else under their belt to try and get them. Probably. And, well... It's business talk with who are we to discuss these kind of things without proper knowledge. We as consumers do enjoy stuff. Like, I do hope that they're having so much fun. Let's head off to our weekly session of what have we been doing with our week. And Star, I heard that you had some adventures. I well, I just hope I could get my parcel. It's just that I found out that my shirt has finally arrived. So I hope I could get it. Ah, Yes. The elusive shirt that you've been telling me about a lot. Uh, well, one thing I could say, it's two weeks left until see PonyCon, and kind of hyped for it. Well, never decided, actually. <laughs> uh, can't wait, man. It's going to be fun. But other than that, what have you been doing? Just, I just feel a bit hectic, though, for next week, because I feel like a lot of work going to be, need to be done, this and that. Been less than two weeks still, the convention to come. Hmm. I'm not sure, though. I, I don't have much things, things to say also this for what I've been done this week because everything has been the same. Oh well, it's gonna be well, good. Like, uh, conventions coming soon, but still, um, I'm guessing when we do have conventions, we have a lot to say. And Wills, what about you, my friend? Not much, really. Uh, just, poof, working on life. Gosh, really? Ah. This is awkward. I always have something that's interesting going on, but it is the first time, uh, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Mm, maybe more orcs must die? Yeah, so a little bit, but, uh, no, just mostly, uh, just working on life. Wow. This is, this is, this is weird. This is really weird. It's cool, man. It's cool. I think maybe I'll have more next week. Well, there's one thing I could say though. There's a lot of pony news this week. Oof, yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, that's for true. That's true. It's like a barrage, a barrage of pony news. Yep, true that, true that. But as for me, well, um, nothing exciting really personally happening to me. But I did help my dad set up his, well, um, Microsoft Surface 4, <laughs> full pro. I think that's the newest model now. So yeah, I did help, uh, I did get a chance to play around with that and help him set it up, which is kind of interesting. So, yeah, I mean, what can, what else can I say? It's a tablet, but it's a Microsoft branded tablet. Uh, uh Microsoft Surface, huh? Yeah, I mean, 
Honestly, what can I say? Okay, um, if I have to review it, it's an interesting piece of device for the price and whatnot, and for the power, it's okay. You're not going to be playing Overwatch on it. Uh, long story short, it's just a tablet PC. Yeah, I know. So basically, well, at least it's much better than a iPad because you can do much more of it. Uh, it's running Windows. Yeah, true. And it's also, my, my father's version is a Core i5 with 4 gigs of RAM. So that's good. Yeah, well, it's accurately typed because I guarantee you that thing's going to drive him nuts and he's going to throw it through a window. Oh, um, not really. He's been using <laughs> the first um, Surface before, so he's used to it by now. So yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's good then. Mm-hmm. He, he enjoys that one. Like, personally, when he told me he wanted a laptop, I would have gone for an LG Grand or maybe an Asus or Dell, something like that, you know, one of the lighter models, but never Surface. Would have not thought about that one. But still, um, if he enjoys it, he enjoys it. Uh, managed to uh, set it up, uh, update the uh, def- virus definition and whatnot, and also update the firmware. And yeah, it's running like a smooth thing. I don't know. Not mine, really. But still, um, that's what I've been doing. Been playing a bit of it. So, yay, um, that's about it, really. But anywho, uh, that's been my week. And well, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. And if you want to reach us personally, you can catch the show's Twitter at the MBS show. And for me, I'm at Norman Sanzo. And Will, where can the good people find you? Well, if you find anything that I've done, you can find me at Willazen at Twitter or on Finfiction or DeviantArt. Awesome, awesome. And what about you, Star? And people can find me on my TV and not Angelico XX. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PornoVilive.com. Links are in the show notes. And also please do subscribe to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there you'll get myself, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and also guests talking about Pony episodes, Pony comics, Pony movies, and other things. Recently, we did... That's not a word! So, that was something awesome to do, or something awesome to listen to, if you're interested in that movie. Wait, I think I just spoiled it. Dang it. <laughs> so, so what? you know what to do. But, anywho, um, also, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get full access to um, deleted contents and anything that is kind of exclusive to Patreon. And also, you'll get early access to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, i like to thank Erica Cat, Twilight Genesis, Nemdragatorius, Starstream... Master of Lag and also Jeffrey. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. This is Fast Stream. And this is Willison. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun. Uh, yeah, we'll be able to do next week. Yes, we'll catch you again next week with another fun episode. See ya. See ya. Toodaloo.